Denver Broncos free agency news and rumors. I was going to make a day four, but the only thing that happened in day four was the Broncos just had rumored interest in Leo Collins. That was it. No signings, no nothing. So day five, let's go. So what did the Broncos do day five? Well, they brung back D lineman Deshaun Williams to a one-year deal. I think this is a good deal. Um, solid depth. I thought he played pretty good in place of a couple players on the D-line being injured last year. Um, I mean, he's not – I don't know if he's quite a starter in the league, but I think he's a pretty good depth player, and I'm glad that they brought him back for a one-year deal. Um, the Broncos also converted a portion of Tim, Tim Patrick's Roster bonus to free up $4.6 in cap space. So they are indeed not done in free agency. They're looking to add. Um, a lot of people believe they're looking to add a cornerback or two. Hopefully that does happen. Especially with uh, Devonna Adams coming in the division. And all the good receivers that Kansas City has and the Chargers. So definitely going to have to have a solid secondary. So hopefully that that's what that's for. Um, the Broncos also signed Josh Johnson. He's a journeyman quarterback. This is his 13th or 14th team that he signed with in his career. Uh, so, <laughs> man. Um, hopefully he finds a home here. Um, he's been bouncing around the league a lot. And he's going to be the backup quarterback to Russell Wilson. So, hopefully, he uh, is a good one. But, you know, we want Russ to be the main guy for a long time. So, I don't really have any comments on that. But, obviously, you need a quarter, backup quarterback just in case of emergency. And then the Broncos signed another player. On day five of free agency, or in day five, uh, they got special teamer uh, slash linebacker Alex Singleton from the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, he was their leading tackler for the last two seasons, and the Eagles have a pretty good defense. So hopefully he can come over, be a good player on special teams. Our special teams have been terrible past couple seasons, maybe even longer than that if you want to count the other couple. But the Tom McMahon era... That was the main thing. Hopefully, our new special team coach and all these special teamers that we're bringing over in the offseason can get the special teams right because, honestly, that's a pretty big part of the game as well. It's a little part, but, you know, little things matter in the NFL. So, definitely need to get the special teams going right. Um, I don't expect this guy to be a starting linebacker for us. He might, you know, be a rotational guy. But he's definitely going to be out there when special teams are out there. So um, I heard it was a good deal. I was reading up on it. And a lot of people say that great tackler. He's terrible in coverage. Good run stuffer if he's playing linebacker. But, um, yeah, so sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, that's really everything. Uh, I'm not going to make a day six video because today technically is day six. I'm making this video late. And they didn't sign anybody today. All they did was they have J.R. Reed, uh, safety, is going to visit with them. But uh, they spelled Kareem Jackson wrong. So, anywho, hope you all enjoyed the vid. Broncos country, what do you think about the signings? And what do you think about what the Broncos are doing right now? Are they going to restructure some more guys, make some cuts to free up some cap so that we can get some more free agents? Or what's going on so and you stay safe be good don't fumble the football like subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next one let's ride